Welcome back, everybody, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to pick up right where we left off from the last episode. If you guys recall, uh, we had played a couple of hands of poker uh, with these fellers in here. And then when we were finished, we went to find Reverend Swanson, and he somehow or another crawled off somewhere, and we don't know where he is. So we are picking up right where we left off and continuing the episode. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can find this guy. So... I think what we need to do is uh, talk to these fellows and see if they've seen where he went. So let's do that. Uh, let's not make demands. Let's Excuse be me. I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure. We saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. <laughs> okay, so the reverend went off this way, he said. Let's call out to him. Hey, Reverend! Let's get on our horse. Like I said, hey. he went that way. Where did our horse you go? Get after him. He was two sheets to the wind. Oh, maybe the quest removes the horse. We have to go after him on foot. All right. I, I think, right? Well, hold on a second. No, our horse is there. He's just not in the same place that we hitched him in. There he is. Tennessee, how'd you get over here? Have you lost your mind? So, oh, okay. We got to go to this little yellow blotch area here. Calm down. The hell hey, you just get your man? hands off him. A word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Okay, I have to remember the 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 fight keys here. Okay, hold on. Isn't it, um... Oh, yeah, it's F and R. Okay. Come on! Fighting is, is kind of hard. It's Part of it's because I hate the key placement for it. Son of a... This guy's tough. Waste of my time. Oh my god! Killed him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Confront the witness. Oh shit. Alright. Hey you! Get back here! Um, that killed us. Oh, no, because our health was really low. Uh, all right, let's, uh, retry the checkpoint. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta get better at fighting. That's all there is to it. Oh, my God, you killed him. I'm gonna keep the law on you. All right, let's catch this guy. Let's go a little bit easier down hey, you. here. Get back here. I'm gonna get you. I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. Please don't hurt me. Hell, anyone? What you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. Okay, I we, promise. We need to ensure that Just you don't, don't tell a soul. After dissuading the witness, Reverend, some, something, something. Get off the damn tracks! What? What the hell is he doing up there? Okay, so here, let's, um... We need to... Our health is uh, not in the best of shape. How about if we... Health tonic... Health cure. Opened health cure. Fully restores health. Fully restores health. 
Why don't we do some food and well Yeah, let's eat some food There we go. I mean, I don't want to use a tonic that fully restores health when we're just down a little bit What are you doing? Okay, let's get get back up there That guy's gonna get ran over by a train here Out of stamina. Mars, How much you guys want to bet a train's gonna Just come? A simple mistake. Wait, what you am I? Why did I jump off my horse? Save. <laughs> well, this is not gonna go well. Here comes the train. Yeah, I told you. It appears to like this place. I want to stay. Oh no. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Hurry up. Oh Get shit. It. Come on. <laughs> 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 oh man. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, oh no, you don't. <sighs> what the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry! <laughs> I wish I was different! <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Okay, Margaret, who's nuts. Margaret? What? <sighs> All right, let's pick him up. Margaret. Wait. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. All right, let's take him home. We don't really know his story, so I, I believe that he is um, a morphine addict and obviously, well, probably an alcoholic too, but why he is, we don't really know. So we'll take him home. Hopefully he'll sober up and make better de better decisions. <laughs> I don't know. That can't be comfortable riding like that. Okay, let's see if we can get back into cinematic mode here. Yeah, he's so following the path. Good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure why this wasn't working for me last time, but it might have been that I just wasn't lined up, you know, on the path as well. But it seems to be working now, so. Hey, man. Hey, shot it back there. Let's increase our speed a little bit. Almost home. Okay, let's slow down just a little bit here. Remove Reverend Swanson from your horse. <clears throat> Drop him in his bed. Guess that's over here where the where the yellow X is. Mr. 
was wondering when he'd show up. Is that his wife or something? Let's get right. Okay, yeah, right there. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <coughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Uh, you have unlocked the gambler challenge. Check your log for more information. All right, let's see. We didn't do too well on that mission. What did we not get? Win two hands of poker, return Reverend to camp within two minutes and five seconds. Okay, well, see, the problem with those is you don't know what the objectives are until after it's done, but you always have the chance, I think, to, to redo them if you wanted to. I don't really care a whole lot about that, though. I'm just enjoying the story, but it's 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 still kind of interesting. Okay, so let's you got a fever see or something? Here. It's too cold to dress like that. I guess what we should probably do is... Just keep working on quests because, from what I understand, there are certain things that are not available to us until you know, uh, until we get to uh, or get through a, the the right quest for it is what I'm trying to say. So let's take a look at our map here. I mean, we might as well. Uh, th this like little white thing here. Oh, that's a that's another bounty that would be available to us. I'd like to do that because we make pretty good money doing bounties. So that's a something we could do. Um, but then we got three quests here right in camp that we can do. So why don't we... Yeah, why don't we just keep working on quests? I think that's really the best thing that we should do right now. But I am going to do this. I'm going to escape or hit escape. We're going to go to story and we're going to do a, a manual uh, save right here. Okay, very good. So that way we can at least start at this point. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you guys uh, that are watching the YouTube video is when I first started the game, it actually started me all the way back in Valentine. Uh, so I had to ride all the way back to the train station and kind of go through the, the whole poker scene thing again before I started the recording to, you know, just to get caught back up. But we, di we didn't do anything uh, on the way there. We just rode straight there. So, okay. Let's see, how are we doing on food? food? All of our cores are good, so I don't think we really need to do anything there. Um, so let's do another quest. Oh, did Dutch just talk to us? So we're supposed to come up to these guys and be able to just talk to them um, randomly. Give me some room here. I've got to remember what key you guys told me to press for that. Because it doesn't, it doesn't just pop up. What brings you in here? So it's not F, it's not E. Oh, that just changes my view. What are you doing back here? All right, let's go talk to. We got, we got Hosea, uh, we've got Kieran, and we've got. Leopold Strauss, money lending and other sin. Strauss needs to speak to you. Hosea, uh, you need to try and get information on the Odris O'Driscolls from Kieran. Okay. Why doesn't that pop back up again? When I click on Hosea, it disappears. I don't know. Let's go talk to Hosea. Hey, Arthur. Jose, you want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear, one of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. Wow. My God, but you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. Nice. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but 
Ain't no boat to see. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. If there's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. Well, you can remove the saddle from your horse and transfer it to another source. A horse to make it your horse. And the stables always have the best ones. Uh, I guess you're right. Okay. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. If I'm near him. little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. He's a big horse. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Horse bonding achieved. Study. Come on, he's not that bad. Here, let's All uh. All the time. You're okay, boy. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. <laughs> I heard about that. Um, let's look at the compendium here really quick. A Shire. Shire horses are, are classed as draft horses. They can be identified by their heavy set frame, lower leg feathering, and convex head profile. They are among the largest and strongest breeds of horse, which makes them perfect for hauling heavy carts, though their size and weight can make them more difficult to handle. This breed is known for being healthy with average speed and stamina levels. Okay. So can we, could we, can we like keep this horse if we want to? Not sure. What I hope will happen is after we do this hunting quest with him, he'll give us that sniper rifle. This is now your main horse. It, okay. Some yeah. beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh. I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, good boy. All right, boy. Morning, friend. Morning. Stables are just up ahead. Hello there. Take the All horse right. into the stable. Go sell that big brute. And buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm All going right. out to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> I kind of like this big old horse. <laughs> Do we really want to sell him? Well, let's just do it because it's part of the quest. Plus, this, I think this unlocks the stable for us anyways, which we need for other things. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. 
Otherwise, I can always stable them here for you. Here, take a look. Okay, sell or stable the horse. Stabling your horse allows you to store it at the stable so you can access it later. If you sell the horse, you will, uh, you will be paid the sell price. Okay, so um, doesn't have the best of speed or acceleration. It has heavy handling. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Does it means that does it mean he's like more sluggish or something? Uh, if we hit tab info. Okay, so it just kind of goes back and forth between that. We get sixty-five dollars, which is pretty good money. I uh, I, don't, I think. I think we'll probably go ahead and sell him because the stats are not that great. Does the horse have a snorkel sniper? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. Sh what do you mean by that? Uh, that, I don't understand what you mean by that, bro. <laughs> I don't think he has a snorkel. Um, okay, so yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and sell him. Let's do it. Just so we kind of get the experience. That's kind of what the quest wants us to do, anyways. Okay, so this is Morgan. Um. Oh, no, this is a Morgan. That's the breed. $15. Uh, I mean, is this any better than our current horse? I don't know that it really is, actually. American Standard Bread. $150 make you holla. Yeah, we don't quite have enough money for him. And then a Dutch warm blood, four hundred and fifty dollars. So this guy has better speed and better acceleration than this guy. So why is this one so much more expensive? I don't get that. This is a, a racehorse. Huh, okay. Well, I mean, this is the only horse we can currently buy unless Unless Tennessee is still available to us back at the camp, which he should be, I would think. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. The amount, amount of times the horse has gone swimming. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Yeah, we should buy a snorkel for our horse, shouldn't we, huh? Um, well, I'll tell you what. Let's just buy this one now because um, it's kind of what the quest wants us to do. And I, I don't know if we still have Tennessee or not back at the camps. And we got to have a horse, and we can't buy the other two because we can't afford them. So let's do it. Oh, we can name this guy. Okay. Um, let's name him. Let's name him. He's kind of got freckles on him, doesn't he? So how about if we name him Freckles? Okay. That's his name, Freckles. Okay. Now, uh, manage owned horses, tax, tack and services, equipment, Saddle, saddle bags, horns, bed rolls, that sort of thing. Um, saddle bags. Can we upgrade to this? It'll cost us forty dollars. You do not own this item, right? Can we afford it? Oh yeah, we have ninety-one dollars. Um, what's this going to do? This is going to give us more space. Hmm, do we want to spend almost half of our money on this right now? Is that a good idea? Uh, not sure. Let's wait. Let's just wait for a second. Okay, saddles higher. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go back. Higher quality saddles improve your horse's stamina core and health core. Drain rate while providing a stamina re uh, region rate increase. Okay. Um, saddle bags increase your outfit, mask, and hat storage on your horse. Stirrups, higher quality stirrups, increase your horse's speed and acceleration and provide a stamina drain rate reduction. Uh, horns don't do anything. So are those just for looks? That's probably just a, an, an aesthetic thing I'm thinking. Wool bedroll, padded bedroll. Canvas. We already have a padded. Okay, so again, again, these this is probably just aesthetic things. So we'll just I'm not worried about that right now. Blanket. 
kind of neat, but not essential stuff right now. If we're going to spend money on anything, it should be either more space um, or better performance on the horse itself. You have this item equipped. So this is the belled oxbow stirrup. Um, deep roper stirrup. Wait, did I just buy that? I just bought that. I didn't mean to buy it. I was just clicking on it. What the hell, man? It shouldn't make... It. I just clicked on it and we bought it. That's not what I meant to do. Um, all right, well, I guess we just bought ourselves a deep roper stirrup. Drain rate. So it's a little bit better than, I guess, what we've been using. So, okay, we have ourselves a deep roper stirrup didn't quite mean to do that. I was just clicking on it. I didn't mean to actually buy it. Okay, let's look at saddles here. These are probably very expensive. Neller Mother Hubbard saddle. Lumley Ranch Cutter saddle. Neller Dakota saddle. Ooh, I like that one. That one's kind of cool. Stinger Roping saddle. Gurdon Trail saddle. Lumley McClellan saddle and Gurdon... Vic, uh, Vecuero saddle. That's kind of a nice looking one too. All right, what does this do? That's $43. Uh, improved. We can't afford an improved one. Chestnut and coffee. Ooh, that looks nice. Look at that. I really like that. Okay, well, I think pre-purchase saddles. What? Oh, that's probably if we, like, pre-purchased it when you bought the game kind of thing. Saddlebags. Well, why don't we why don't we go ahead and upgrade the saddlebag? Because that's going to give us more storage. Okay. Um, but I think that's all we're going to do for now because our, our money's kind of low. What's... Oh, what services... Horse care package. What's this do? Fully restores all horse cores and yields gold cores. Oh, so gold cores are like extra bonus then, I guess, right? And we can also rename the horse from here too. Okay, I'm not worried about that right now. Appearance. Main. Natural. Regular. Short. Long, braid, mohawk, dreadlock. Uh, natural, regular. What's the difference between these two? This one's, okay, I guess natural's just a little bit longer. So this would cost us 275 but we could change the color of it. I kind of like the black, actually, on this horse better than the white. Of course, the white does kind of match the patch on his face there, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just keep it the way it is for now. What about the tail? That looks weird. <laughs> Okay, nah, we'll just we'll, we're gonna keep that the same too. It's kind of neat though, you know that you, that we have all all of these options here. <coughs> I don't think we need to buy any of this because we already have a lot of this stuff in our um our inventory. All right, so partner. we're good to go there. You got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. Oh, nice. We and get a grooming treats. brush. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? 
Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. I have to tell. I have to say, I don't. I don't like the way it looks as much as Tennessee. You won't know till you get in the saddle. But that's the horse we got now. So let's get in the saddle and see. All right, boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. All right, let's go uh, here. Uh, compendium update. Whoops. Hey, do I? So. Okay, we gotta go into story, I think. No, not story. Um, progress. Yeah. And then horses. That's an American standard. That's a Morgan. So this is what we just bought. Morgans are classed as riding horses. They can be identified by their smaller frame, refined build, and elegant gait. The Bay Palomino, Liver, Chestnut, Flax and Chestnut, and Bay Roan coat can be found in the wild. The Bay Roan and Palomino are also purchasable from stables. They are known for having poor health and acceleration. Their speed and stamina are average, making them suitable for shorter journeys. All right, well, uh, a common... Bay Roan coat can be purchased from a stable. Interesting. I'm assuming that this horse is a little bit better than Tennessee, but I don't know. I mean, I kind of almost want to go back and get Tennessee. American Standard Morgan Shire. Oh. See, this is what we currently have is Tennessee. Tennessee walkers are riding horses. They can be identified by the refined head and elegant build. The red roan, black rabicano, gold palomino, chestnut, and dapple bay coats can be found in the wild. A flaxen roan is purchasable from a stable. This breed is renowned for its eye-catching trot and comfortable gait. They are healthy and handle well with good stamina and speed, making them perfect for long journeys. See, Tennessee is better than the one we just bought, I think. I mean, according to the, those statistics, anyways. Hmm. Okay, well... We have this horse now, so we'll we'll use it this lake we're heading for? and then see um, it's Run. How, it, how it goes. East of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains. I sure didn't figure on that. But this time we're doing the chasing. So Okay, I'm going to pause the game here, and we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode, and then we're going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode at this exact moment. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.